Nazi super cows. British farmer forced to destroy half his murderous herd of bioengineered heck cows after they tried to kill staff. Lindsay Lohan still hasn't found Islam. Or Kettering. Muscle-obsessed pervert dubbed Purple Aki, who was barred for 10 years from grabbing men's biceps, has the ban lifted after vowing to reinvent himself. Man threw snail at car in Street Row. Mum left horrified after noticing X-rated detail on inflatable dinosaur toy. Audi shopper says Jesus appeared on potato, and even her usually skeptical husband agrees. I kicked burning terrorists so hard in balls that I tore a tendon in my foot. Out of date pastry is sold to young mum. British urgently want the blood of Irish people. I'd shoot my son if he had A's, says Vicar. The Asda Nazi. Man kicked out of Cambridge supermarket for wandering aisles dressed in full Nazi SS uniform. Peppa Pig accused of being sexist by London Fire Brigade. Boris Johnson refuses to elaborate on claim cocaine had no effect on him. Ed Miliband eats a bacon sandwich. Children sacrifice to appease trans lobby. Jeremy Corbyn sparks horror with plan to turn Britain into North Korea. Nick Clegg targets Brexiters in drive-by shooting. FR Stephen Crossan, police investigation into priest caught snow snorting cocaine in Nazi room. Boris Johnson refuses to deny snorting cocaine. French grab our lorries and steal meat. Corbyn's ISIS pass revealed. Theresa May, I walked in on people having sex during snap election campaign. Woman woke up to a man trying to pull Kinder Surprise full of heroin out of her vagina. There are no virgins in Essex. Man arrested for having sex with lamppost. Britain's fattest woman ate fridge and died. Cultural revolution style re-education for anyone who says Corbyn rides Chairman Mao bike. So for those of you who are wondering where I got these headlines from, there's a Twitter account that basically goes onto random British headlines and tweets them out of context. I'll link them in the description, and if you want to check them out, then that's good on you.